Hey guys, nice street auto plaza coming at you out of Mount Carmel, Illinois. Today we got a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara 4x4 with 3.6 liter V6 engine. Automatic transmission, 146,000 miles on this unit, and it does have a clean Carfax. Take you on a virtual tour, show you the imperfections of the vehicle. Uh, point anything out, we can. We're not going to waste your time or hours. They are used vehicles. So we're going to start the front end. And guys, this is very detailed video, so I'll show you everything. Uh, front grill. We're going to have a rock chip right here. Uh, a few minor ones across the front uh, to be expected. There's a couple down here. There's a couple across this front. Bumper plate. Minor little scratch right here. A little uh, rock chip right there. We're going to work our way down the driver's side first. Uh, we got some... Uh, Fuel rims, they are on uh, 315 70R 17s, uh, fuel rims, by the way. Uh, tire condition on this one front is probably around, I'd say 40%, somewhere around there. Uh, front fender does have a few rock chips, very minor, down the side, down here. Uh, fender's in good shape. We do have a little bitty dent, and that's from these things. When you don't put your straps on, guys, the wind catches these things and they'll come around and put these dents on them. Half the Jeeps I get in have those things on them, so don't forget to strap your doors. Uh, hinges looking to be pretty good shape, a little bit of condensation and, and stuff down in here, nothing really to, to note. Uh, good shape, all your pins are in too, and all your screws. Uh, driver's doors are good shape. A uh, little rock chip down here, passenger rear door driver's side has a few uh, rock chips on it of course this right here is always gonna have rock chips no matter what you do uh, there's a kind of a few coming up the fender here there's one there back tire about 35 percent tire tread they are tire matching uh, again guys you have the paint matched uh, top and they are this is the smooth top it's not a rhino line or anything like that it's factory condition tops in good condition coming around the rear tailgate uh, we do have a five uh, five tire deal on this thing, uh, brand new spare, um, with five matching uh, rims and tires. And guys, this does have the rear painted skirt and the front skirts on the bumpers. A uh, little scratch right here. Top's in good condition, pretty much all the way around. There's maybe a little rock chip up there. We'll get to that. Uh, fender, of course, you're gonna have a couple rock chips there course down the, this side here there's one a couple there this tire right here is probably more like 25 percent in tire tread again i would probably take this one off and put the uh spare take that as a spare uh working away from the passenger side rear passenger door uh nothing really to note no dents or scratches anything like that uh, hinges are in decent shape here's that little nick and this is on your top two sections uh, passenger front door, we do have one little rock chip right here. Um, everything else to note is pretty good. No dents or scratches, anything like that. Front fender's in good shape, and again, here's this little bitty dent. Again, guys, strap those doors. Uh, front fender, of course, you're gonna have some rock chips across that, uh, but everything else looks in be a good shape. Uh, windows in good shape also. We're gonna work our way to the inside. Things with Sahara, it is loaded up, guys. Uh, gorgeous interior, just Sahara embroidering. Passenger seats in excellent condition. Uh, dash is intact, like I said, windows in good shape. Uh, we do have books and we do have a cool little Jeep kit. You don't see these very often. Uh, that's your take your uh, doors and top off. So, really cool little kit. Go to the back. Childproof locks if needed. Rear door skin's in good condition. Rear seat, uh, excellent condition. Nothing really to note. Uh, smells really good in here, guys. Clean, kind of like leather. Oh, and this does have the Alpine stereo system in these things, and it rocks. Jeep came up with one good stereo. All right, the rear end looks in good condition. Got your 12 volt, here's your uh, Alpine sub. 
Uh, like I said, guys, these things are really sound good. Uh, all your hinges and everything go into here, your bolts and everything else. And there's your uh, Alpine sub in the back. Of course, these two seats fold down if needed. Uh, top, obviously, here's your top bolts throughout. Very clean, good condition vehicle. Driver's rear, we do have child proof if needed, door scans, good condition. Like I said, on the other side, uh, very good condition on the rear seat. Carpet's in excellent condition. Very, very clean, nice driving all the way around Jeep. Uh, it does have bigger tires on it, guys, but they this thing drives out great. No issues at all, no sway, anything like that. Uh, driver's seat's in excellent condition. Do have a minor wear right here, but um, honestly, very good condition. I'll point it out, guys, if I see something. All right, we got 146.512. That's 146.512 in the miles. We're going to start it up. Okay, there are no check engine lights, anything like that. The only light on is my seat belt light, which I don't have my seat belt on. All right, guys, we're going to do a little quick rev test. You can watch the RPM, and then we'll stick the phone on the outside so you can hear the engine. Rev test is excellent. But our response is right on the money. Everything good to go right there. Again, guys, Alpine stereo system. Um, we got your door power door locks over here. Everything is functioning as it should. I'm going to go down the center stack first. Uh, obviously, you have your stereo. Here's your Alpine. It's for Kentucky. Sounds awesome. Uh, of course, you do have your uh, back here. You can turn your stereo up and down. Uh, let me do it real quick. That changes the station. This side over here does your stereo up and down. Okay, we're going to turn the uh, fan on. I'm going to show you that each one of these stages do work as they should. All right, turning on. All stages work as they should, and it does have ice cold AC. I'll turn that on here for a little bit. Uh, we got heated seats down here, and they do get hot. You got your traction control right here, downhill descent, uh, flashers, and this turns on your 110 outlet, which is located right underneath the uh, center console. Uh, some storage and everything like that back here. You got your uh, USB and your 12 volt down there. Uh, let's see, windows. We're gonna go for the windows right now. It's auto down only. The backs are just normal up and down. We're going to switch over here to our mirrors, show you that they do work. Driver's side is good to go. Duster side is good to go. Um, really clean in here, guys. No, no smells, anything like that. Uh, lights. Everything is functioning as it should. Uh, cruise control over here, it works as it should. Uh, I just took this thing on about a 30 mile uh, test drive. Uh, like I said, it drives out great. Uh, one finger vehicle. It uh, really, really drives out nice. Uh, this wing will not last long. It does have a little bit higher mileage, but uh, extremely clean. Somebody took, took very good care of it. Uh, we're going underneath the hood right now. Three point six liter. Die Hard Gold battery. Very clean, engine sounds just the way it should. Like I said, guys, a very clean vehicle. Won't be disappointed on coming to take a test drive. Alright guys, we're going to wrap up this virtual tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I didn't miss anything, but I try to pick everything out. Like I said,
set. We don't want to waste your time or hours. All right, we got a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara 4x4. 3.6 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, 146 on the miles. Uh, it's got a clean Carfax, guys. Uh, we're located in Mount Carmel, Illinois. You can give us a call at 618-450-2600. Or you can visit us on the web at nightstreetautoplaza.com where you can see this video and the web, uh, uh, this video and the Carfax. Uh, again, that's nightstreetautoplaza.com. Hey guys, I hope this helped your uh, buying experience and hey, you guys have a wonderful day.